one of the limitations that we have with some of the more minimally invasive treatments is that their application for bigger prostates or more complex shaped prostates can be limited. Because aquablation actually doesn't use any heat at all, there is therefore no thermal uh, disruption or potential damage to the adjacent erectile nerves, which are placed on the outer part of the prostate. And as a result of that, that's why we're not seeing erectile dysfunction in this cohort managed with aquablation. So the real potential advantage is that aquablation can provide outcomes that are consistent with the results that we see in men if they're having cavitating procedures, such as a TERP, such as a HOLEP, such as a green light. But the real advantage appears to be that those men that have aquablation have a lower risk of ejaculatory dysfunction.